guys and welcome back to my channel um if you're here that means you want to see how to remove shine from your wigs and hair um or you're probably just here to support your girl hey 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 thank you so much for watching so i'm going to show you how to remove the shine from this hair i did a previous video about last year in april um of how to remove shine from your hair i got a few questions asked in that video I did answer the people, I did answer everybody's questions, um, but I'm going to go ahead and answer the questions in this video also because I don't know if this is your first time watching me. If it is your first time watching me, then this is probably your first video. So I want to go ahead and answer those questions in this video. So stay tuned for all of that. Here we go. Burt's Bees dusting powder. You could use any powder once it looks like powder to remove the shine. Um, one of somebody suggested that I do a side by side because in my last video I just did my whole whole entire weave, you know. So somebody wanted to see a side by side. So today I'm going to be doing a side by side. So I go ahead and I apply the powder on my hair like so. And then I'm going to be taking a brush and I'm going to be going through the hair. Um, if you added excess powder, you could just go ahead and brush it until it doesn't show anymore. add as much as you want or as less as you want kind of want to remove all the shine from this hair um, so that it has like a more natural look someone in the previous video said um, I don't like well they made a comment saying like oh it doesn't matter if you add powder to it weave will just look like weave Oh, duh. Everybody know weave look like weave. Sometimes weave look like weave. Sometimes weave don't look like weave. Sometimes people think black people always wear weave. So, yeah. I get it. But, you know. We just out here trying to, trying to look like we got real hair, okay? Okay? Trying to make our weave look realistic, okay? Could we not do that? What is the issue? We could make our weave look realistic even if it looks like weave. <laughs> you know? Okay, so I'm going to be showing you the side by side. This is the side with the powder. As you can see, it kind of looks like 100% human hair. This is kind of the look you would get. I do have some excess hair. You could just go ahead and continue brushing this until it goes away or you could apply some water to your hands like so and then brush it some more until the excess powder goes away and then um just brush it down again um so this is the side with the powder and this is the side without the powder side with the powder side without the powder so you can see how shiny this side is almost like plastic whereas this side is more natural looking looks like I have a relaxer in my hair and you know it looks more realistic I'm going to answer some questions that were in my previous video on here, like I mentioned previously, um, I'm going through the comments. Um, lots of 
lots of comments, lots of people left comments. Someone asked, someone asked if baby powder works also. Yes, you could use baby powder. Um, let's see. Uh, someone said, yes, yeah, scalp area with this wig looks so natural. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you haven't seen this video. Um, it did pretty well on my channel. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. Someone said, do I need to wash the baby powder out eventually or could I just leave it in? Um, you could go ahead and wash the baby powder out, um, like if you're maintaining your wig or whatever. If the hair is still shiny after you wash it off, you could just go ahead and reapply some baby powder as needed. But yeah, if you want to wash the hair and keep it clean, you could definitely do that. Um, someone, they, that same person also asked, how long does the baby powder take the shine out of the wig? So the baby powder takes the shine out for a pretty long time. Um, like once I apply it once to the hair, I didn't have to apply it again. Um, and I kept that hair on for almost like a month and I didn't have to apply it again. So I'm guessing that it will last until you wash it probably, probably after you wash it. Um, it might have a little shine returning, you know, after you add your condition and all that stuff. The shine might come back, but um, I haven't tried it, um, so I can't really say. But if you wash it and the shine comes back, all you do is reapply some baby powder. Um, someone asked, this, <laughs> can you use baking powder? I wouldn't recommend use them baking powder. Someone asked, um, can you use translucent powder, like makeup translucent powder? Um, I could go ahead and try translucent powder. Like, let me, let me try that right now so that I could answer all, of the, all your questions. So I have some powder right here. This is, this is, this is actually setting powder and it is like a translucent powder. Um, the consistency is like so, uh, yeah, I don't know how setting powder look. It kind of looks like foundation powder. Um, so I'm going to test it on a small section of my hair. On the ends, to put some on the ends and then brush it Ooh. and guess what <laughs> the shine actually comes out so translucent powder yeah it works because see this side is shiny and this side is after the translucent powder so yeah it does work so translucent powder is a go if you don't have any other powder someone asked what if it's a curly synthetic wig and you don't want to brush it out if you have a curly synthetic wig and you don't want to brush it out you could just go ahead and put the powder on and try to pat it like don't put a lot like just put a little bit at a time and like pat it in or if it's like one of those um, ones that you could actually take your finger and just wrap it around like put the powder on your hand and then take your finger and wrap it around the curls I think you could apply the powder on your curly hair too but you just you, if you don't want to brush it don't brush it and use your hand and apply it on and then wherever you put too much you just go ahead and take some water and just wipe it out and it'll be fine it should work just as fine someone said does body powder work body body powder is very similar to baby powder and the powder i use dusting powder body powder is the same almost the same um so of course you could use body powder um someone said uh still shiny 
I don't know if they meant my hair was still shiny or I don't know if they tried it in their shiny wig and it didn't work. Um, but for the most part, it worked. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know, boo. I don't know. Worked for me. So someone asked, um, can you use foot powder? So, okay. I have some foot powder here. Um, and I'm going to apply the foot powder right here. Over here to test it out. As you can see, this is how shiny it looks before. And I'm going to apply the foot powder. Oh, father. I put too much. Oh my. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So you just go ahead and brush it until the excess comes out. Okay, as you can see, the shine is out. Foot powder works also. It looks just like this side. Someone asked, would a dry shampoo work? Um, I wouldn't recommend using a dry shampoo because like the dry shampoo, it's not really powder. It's more like a liquid, a liquid-ish type of thing. And then when you spray it on, it looks like powder, but it's not. It's not powder, um, so I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend a dry shampoo. I wouldn't, cause it's too liquidy, and I don't think it will take out the shine. So, no, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, someone asked, does the powder run when you sweat? I'm guessing they mean does the powder run out when you sweat? Um. Because I never, I never, you know, I never try it out when I sweat or whatever. But I'm guessing it would be just like if you washed your hair or if you got your hair wet and all the powder came out. I mean, it's not going to mess up your clothes or what, or if that's what you mean. It's not going to run and mess up your clothes. You know, it's just powder. Um, but what I think, I think if it washes out with your sweat, just and it's still shiny, you could just go ahead and reapply it, okay? Um, I'm not sure, but I would think if you sweat a lot, it would probably come off, like the powder would come off. I don't think it would do anything to your clothes or anything, but um, it probably would come off a little bit. And if you still see the shine, like I said, just go ahead and reapply some more powder or wash your hair out and apply more powder if you still see the shine. Someone asked, are you Jamaican? No, I am not Jamaican. <laughs> I'm not Jamaican at all. I was born in Dominica and I was raised in the US Virgin Islands. So my accent is St. Thomian, St. Thomas, US Virgin Island. Um, yeah, but I not, no, not Jamaican. Someone asked, do you think, okay, <laughs> do you think regular baby powder would work the same? Yes, regular baby powder will work just fine. Oh, someone commented and they said um, that they use dry shampoo and it worked. Um, so if you want to try dry shampoo, you can. I don't have any dry shampoo, like the spray dry shampoo. I don't have any of that. Like all my dry shampoos are like liquid and I really don't think those would work. Um, but someone in the comments said they use some dry shampoo and I guess it works. But someone said, any advice on how to take some of the powder out? Yes, I already gave some advice on that. You could just use some water and wash it off um, and then pat it dry. I put too much and now the roots seem grayish. Or just repeatedly brush it, like just continue to brush it. As you can see, I accidentally put too much... Um, too much foot powder on this side but I just brushed it out and up here I put too much and I just continue brushing it out and use a little water and got rid of the excess that's it <laughs> that's it for all the questions that I got on this video I went ahead and answered everything um, 
So I hope you find this video useful. If you haven't seen my previous video, you could go ahead and check it out. Um, but this video answers all your questions and I also showed you how to remove the shine from your hair, your weaves and your wigs, boo. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.